Monster Hunter World Iceborne, late into its life cycle, introduced us to one of the, if not the, strongest all-round armors in the entire franchise. That armor belongs to the Fatalis, that was introduced in Monster Hunter World in its October update in 2020. The armor would quickly rise to the overpowered status it would take on to this very day, and this was the first time we saw Capcom give the players an armor set that offered so much versatility and customization, it blew the gates wide open in terms of mixed set accessibility, that was a mouthful, across the board for the game's entire population. While the armor made the game way easier and gave the player an abundance of skills, and in general just an extremely powerful set to work with in terms of defense, its skills and overall resistances, obtaining the armor proved quite difficult for many players. This would, as you would expect from a Monster Hunter game, involve you slaying the beast that the armor belongs to, and in this case that was Fatalis, and that was no easy task for the majority of the community. To this day, there are still a bunch of players that are yet to beat this monster due to its extreme nature and difficulty, and especially on day one, this monster was triple carting so many players. For even the most prepared hunters, a one shot from Fatalis was very common due to the nature of its attacks and obscure movement patterns. For those who did manage to slay the beast, however, they would need to complete that arduous task a few more times before they were awarded with its armor. One of the more challenging aspects of gathering its materials was the horn breaks. This would be required for various armor pieces and weapons, meaning you would have to put yourself in danger by positioning yourself by its head, which would be extremely dangerous, especially during the third phase of the battle if you hadn't already broken its horn, where Fatalis would have a much more powerful flame. For the players that did manage to slay this beast multiple times, they would be awarded with the overpowered armor set that is the Fatalis armor. From Monster Hunter World. They would have the option of the Alpha and Beta sets that both had their benefits, with the Alpha set offering a plethora of skills that are generally considered the more optimal skills to have in an armor set while having a decent amount of decoration slots. The Beta set, while having less perks built into the armor, had a ridiculous surplus of decoration slots, truly incentivizing the decoration grind in order to fully min-max builds to reach their fullest potential. The beta set had a whopping 15 level 4 decoration slots, making it absolutely absurd for builds, especially when paired with a strong charm. The Fatalis set is easily the best all-around set in Monster Hunter World and arguably in the entire franchise with how good its ability is to create overpowering raw builds. Arch-Tempered Valkana would be introduced soon after Fatalis, but Fatalis would still maintain its position in power, with the AT Valkana armor being more suited to Frostcraft and Greatsword builds, opposed to the Fatalis' armor's Jack of All Trades take on all skills. This was truly Capcom's final gift to the players before ending the development of Monster Hunter World, with a few smaller updates following leading up to the release of Monster Hunter Rise. Many players would find themselves mixing four of the five pieces of the Fatalis gear with another monster's armor in order to gain the max potential of their builds. One of the special features of the Fatalis set being its ability to increase the max level of a skill beyond what was normally possible, making builds even more deadlier. Equipping two pieces of the Fatalis armor would give the player inheritance, which would remove the skill level cap for many skills in the game. For example, making Divine Blessings at the max level, level 5 opposed to level 3. Equipping 4 pieces of the Fatalis armor would give Transcendence, which grants true Razor Shot or Spare Shot depending on what weapon you're using, and also giving the player 100 health and stamina at the start of a quest or even after fainting. While the set is extremely rewarding for players who manage to slay Fatalis, the one area the set can't tackle so great is the Elemental area. This is where Arch-Tempered Valkana and Safi Jeeva's mixed sets come into play. Elatrio would be a key monster in making Fatalis armor less potent as it would require an elemental set for an easier time dealing with the Elder Dragon. The general purpose of the armor was to outclass everything and to a point it did, Fatalis allowed players to utilize an easy to navigate canvas set that was hard to get but easy to use. Players could use the set to practically achieve any type of build to varying degrees, some being extremely overpowered and min-maxed while others were solid builds with little effort. The hard part would be getting the decorations to fit into the armor, but for many players including myself, 
this was a big incentive for keeping the game interesting and fun as they would need to optimize slaying monsters in the decoration event quests in order to grind out the various decorations even faster. And while many found this decoration grind as an incentive to keep playing, many did not like the RNG aspect of this part of the game, especially considering their significant impact to build crafting. This armour truly lived up to the Fatalis name, and in a way offered you a piece of the monster's endless power, but if the lore is anything to go by, their offering of power only lasts so long. Let me know down below guys what you think of this armour set, and I'd like to think the majority would be in favour of this armour, but I'm curious to see how opinions differ down below. So I look forward to reading all of your comments, and be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it, it's extremely appreciated and helps out the channel a ton. Be sure to subscribe for a lot more Monster Hunter content, and don't forget to join our Discord, link is at the top of the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.